Hi, this is Mrs. Marita. Welcome to AP Stats, Lesson 1.3. Our learning targets for today are learning targets 1, calculate measures of center or mean and median for distribution of quantitative data, and also learning target 3, explain how outliers and skewness affect measures of center and variability. Alrighty, so we're in our last section of chapter 1, 1.3, describing quantitative data with numbers. We're going to focus today on the mean and the median. The mean is your average, the median is the middle. I know you've seen these before, so why don't you give um, example 1 a try, and then we'll check. So for example 1, part A, you should have gotten 20 as the median, that's your center value, and for part B, our median would be 15. Since part B had an even number of values, just a reminder, we take the average of the middle two. Now, your strategy, because these data sets were so small, may have been just using the, you know, go in one, go in one, go in two, go in two. So you could do that on a small data set, but that could get pretty tedious if you have a large data set. So a shortcut to find what term number, so not the actual median, but the term number of the median, you can use the shortcut n plus 1 over 2th, like first, second, third, fourth. <laughs> so this is your n plus 1 over 2th term. So for example, let's see, with um, part A, we could say 9 plus 1 over 2. So 10 over 2, we get 5. Now obviously 5 is not our median, but this will tell us that the median is the fifth term. One, two, three, four, yeah, fifth term. That's our median. Another important part in today's lesson is describing how shape affects the mean and median relationship. So let's look at a little cartoon to describe this. So let's look at an example where we're studying the distribution of individuals well. Some people, like our friend Jeff Bezos, who owns the Amazon, his individual wealth only counts as one data value, but it's way larger than everybody else's. So most data values will be towards the lower end. That's why we have a skewed right distribution. The median still splits this data in half, but when you add Jeff to the data, well, his one data value is going to pull the mean far to the right. Learning target number three summarizes that idea. So we need to explain how outliers and skewness affect measures of center and variability. We'll get to the variability later. Today we're just focusing on the mean-median relationship. So you can see we have the three general distributions, skewed left, approximately symmetric, and skewed right. With our skewed right distribution, this is our Jeff Bezos distribution, and so our median will be, well, it's that middle value. So about half of the area is below, half the area is above. But here's Jeff. So our mean is going to get pulled to the right. And that's always going to be the case. Your mean always gets pulled in the direction of the extreme values, the direction of the skewness, the direction of outliers, things like that. Your approximately symmetric distribution is nice and balanced. Here, your mean will be approximately equal to your median. And then the skewed left distribution is just the reverse of the skewed right. Our median will be over here towards the peak, and the mean, these are a little exaggerated, <laughs> but the mean will be definitely to the left of the median. So let's take a look at example two. Consider the following stem plot of the lengths of time in seconds it took students to complete logic puzzles. Part A. Based only on the plot, how does the mean compare to the median? How do you know? So we want to go back to the previous page and think, what type of shape does this distribution have? Is this distribution approximately symmetric or skewed right or skewed left? So we should say the shape of the stem plot of lengths of time in seconds it took students to complete logic puzzles is skewed to the right. So we know the mean will be larger than the median. When you're looking at stem and lead plots, if you're struggling with the shape, again, eyeball that smooth curve. So it's got this peak, and this is not an extreme skewness, but slightly skewed to the right. 
And so this matches that far right example or that Jeff Bezos example. When you're getting pulled to the right, the mean's going to get pulled to a larger value. We need a key. Oh my goodness, minus one for this example. So for our key, they did explain this up above and sometimes in articles or academic papers they'll do that. Whoa, that was a loud car. Um, so let's go ahead and make a key though. So one slash five, they told us this was the time in seconds. So that would be 15 seconds. Also, that is a long answer just to say the mean's greater than the median, but you do need to make sure to always include your context and stats. So we're leading with the context and we're not being super creative. We're just getting the context from the problem like you learned in elementary school. Restate the question and then fill in your answer. Part B is asking us to find the median. Now it would have been nice if they told us how many data values there were, but no worries, I counted for us and that's what you'd have to do. You would just have to count. There are 41 values on your stem and leaf plot, but I'm going to use that shortcut, that n plus one over twoth term. And so in this example, 41 plus one over two, we're going to look for the 21st term. That's going to be our median. If you start at the top, you're gonna to be working from the inside out as you count. For example, we'll start at this five, 15 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we go back to the center. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So our median is 28 seconds. Or instead, if you wanted to start from the highest or the maximum, you're gonna work your way in. So one, two, three, and then you're gonna go on the extreme to the right, working your way into the center. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and again, we get 28. I almost said 21. <laughs> so our median is 28. Just make sure to add that to your part B that your median is 28 seconds. Part C, which measure of center would be the most appropriate summary of the center in this distribution? Why? This is keen in on the relationship between the appropriate measure of center and the shape of the distribution. So our answer, we would say, the shape of the stem plot of lengths of time in seconds it took students to complete a logic puzzle is skewed to the right, so we should use the median as the appropriate summary for the center, because the median is resistant to the extreme values towards the right. Now we're gonna get into part D. Part D is asking us to use technology to find the mean and median, and then verify they are the same as the results you found. So what we're looking at is we wanna double check is the mean really larger than the median, like we had said in part A. So take a minute and pause the video if you still need to get your data entered. I have all the data entered in list one. Yep, it's 41 data values. That was a lot to enter. But this is going to help us learn a new strategy for calculating the mean, the median, and a bunch of other statistics we'll use later. So I'm gonna quit out of here and go to the stat button. This is where you went to edit your list or enter your data, but today we're going to scroll over to the calc option. There's a lot that we'll learn to use in this calc menu, but today we're just working on the top one. Number one, one bar stats. So one bar stats, this is your one variable statistics. So we'll hit enter. Our data is in list one, so we're good to go there. And then our frequency list, we just leave blank. We don't have one of those and then we'll hit calculate. It takes a second, but then you'll see we have a ton of information here. What we wanna look at first is our X bar. This is your sample mean. We're gonna learn more, a lot more about notation in this class, but X bar is going to be your notation for a sample mean. So our sample mean was 29.63 and then a bunch more. We've got a bunch of other stuff here that we'll get to later, but right now, there we go. I'm looking for my median. And so my median was 28. So as we saw, your mean was larger than your median, not too much, but that's definitely due to that right skewness. 
All right, that's all we've got for today. Add the extra notes to your little square on the bottom of the page. And if you want, go ahead and click on that QR code and check out the tech corner. They'll go through another example with you using one of our stats and give you a little preview of some other features that that provides for you that we'll look at tomorrow.